Once upon a time, there were three bears, a big bear, a medium-sized bear, and a small bear. And they lived in the forest in a little house together. And they woke up one sunny morning and decided to make some porridge for breakfast, which is like oatmeal. So they were just about to sit down and eat their oatmeal and the big bear said, this porridge is too hot. And the medium sized bear said, you're right. We should go for a walk in the forest while it cools off. And the tiniest bear said, oh, what a great idea, let's go. So the three bears, the big bear, the medium sized bear and the small bear left their home and left their porridge to cool on the table while they took a walk in the forest. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks was coming down the path. She noticed the little house and she decided to peer inside. It didn't look like anyone was home. So she let herself in and there on the table, she saw a big bowl of porridge, a medium sized bowl of porridge, and a small bowl of porridge. So first she sat down and she took a big bite of porridge from the biggest bowl. Ow, she said, this porridge is too hot. So she sat down next to the medium sized bowl. She took a big bite of that porridge. Oh, this porridge is too cold. So she sat down where the tiniest bowl was and she took a big bite of that porridge and she said, mm, this porridge is just right. And she ate it all gone. Well, now she had a full tummy. She decided to go explore the rest of the house. So she went into the, uh, the next room and she saw a big chair, a medium sized chair and a small chair. So she sat down in the big chair and she kind of moved around and tried to get comfortable and the chair was just too hard. So she sat down in the medium sized chair and she twisted and turned and tried to get comfortable, but this chair was too soft. So she sat down in the smallest chair and it was just right. It was perfect and it was a rocking chair. So she started rocking herself back and forth when crash, crash she fell to the ground and the chair broke into a million pieces. She got herself up and dusted herself off. At this point, she was feeling quite tired. So she went up the stairs and she found three beds, a big bed, a medium sized bed and a small bed. So first she laid down in the big bed and she twisted and turned and she tried to get comfortable, but it was too hard. So then she laid down in the medium sized bed. She twisted and turned and she tried to get comfortable, but it was too soft. So she laid down in the smallest bed and it was so perfect. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too soft. It was just right and she fell fast asleep in the tiniest bed. Well, by now, the three bears were on their way home. As they came up the path, they noticed that the front door of their cottage was wide open. Hmm, did you leave the door open? Said the biggest bear. I didn't leave the door open, said the medium sized bear. I definitely didn't leave the door open, said the tiniest bear. So they walked in and the biggest bear said, Somebody's been eating my porridge. And the medium sized bear looked down at their bowl of porridge and said, somebody's been eating my porridge. And the tiniest bear looked down at his empty bowl and said, somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it all gone. Hmm. So they walked into the next room and the big bear noticed Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And the medium sized bear also noticed. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And the tiniest bear also noticed. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it into a million pieces. Well, the tiniest bear was quite upset. They decided to keep looking. 
what could possibly have come into their cottage while they were gone and eaten their porridge and broken their chair? So they walked up the stairs to the upstairs. And the big bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And the medium sized bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And the smallest bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed and they're still in it. Well, at this point, Goldilocks woke up, saw three bears standing over her, a big bear, a medium sized bear and a small bear. And she was so terrified that she ran down the stairs, ran past the chairs, ran past the porridge, ran out the door and she never looked back.